Hi folks, we're with Luna again tonight and we're going to do a bit of a summing up <laughs> and we're going to do a bit of a summing up of what Luna can currently do and what she can't do yet but is expected to do in the future and I'm doing this video and a bit of a reaction to CNET's video, the best of best robots of CES 2023. Because in that video, CNET did a summary of Luna, but it wasn't very accurate, really. So in this video, I'm going to go through each statement that CNET made and then we'll talk about can Luna do it? Is she expected to do it in the future? Or is it something that she needs the app for? Because CNET didn't even mention the fact that Luna needs an app for some functions. So the first thing that CNET said was she'll greet you when you come home. So that is obviously something that Luna cannot do yet. Mm. So when you come come through the front door, she doesn't rush to greet you. And... She w Because she won't even be charged. Yeah. Because even if you charge Luna up and switched her on, by the time you come home, the charge would have run out. Because currently... Luna hasn't got a charger, a charging station that she can go back to herself. Right, there's one. We're waiting for one that. come out in March, isn't it? It's April, actually. Is it? It's April. going to be April before she gets that. So that is not something that Luna can currently do. So she doesn't greet you when you come over then, so... No. And next they state that Luna will follow you around the house and when you call Luna's name, she'll respond and come to you so it is possible to get Luna to follow you and I'll show you a little video of when you got her to do yeah. that uh -huh. so here Paul had to say hello Luna first and then follow me and then he did get her to follow him and after that here. here he got Luna to come over to him yeah. but in both cases Luna had to be connected to Wi-Fi because mm -hmm. she can't process commands unless Sweetie. verbal commands unless she's Girl. attached to Wi-Fi so saying she'll follow you around the house suggests that she just starts following you herself and she doesn't you've got to give her command that's she's right got to be connected to wi-fi yeah the next thing he said was she'll express happiness when you pet her she is just asking for, to be petted now funny enough mm. <laughs> is she expressing happiness <laughs> demonstration of asking okay. to be petted and showing happiness when she's petted there so that point number three is right then yeah <laughs> but as we said in the previous video it's difficult to pet her on a, your lap yes and we'll just show folks what happens then um you have to maintain eye contact as a minimum mm -hmm. to get anywhere with mm -hmm. petting her mm -hmm. on your lap so Paul's maintaining eye contact for this time. It's quite difficult to maintain eye contact with her though. Look, see, she's not looking. I mean, how do you get eye contact if she's not looking? I suppose I've got an angle right on the cushion. And she's not looking. I 
think she is. She's blushing again because I'm looking at her. All right, she's loving you now. So the next thing they state is that she'll respond to voice and gesture commands like turn around or go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Now, that particular voice command, go to sleep, is the only one where she doesn't need to be connected to Wi-Fi to yes, process that's, it. Yes, that's right. So we'll, we'll show how good she responds to that now. So she's not connected to Wi-Fi. Hello, Luna. Go to sleep. I love that little good night kiss he gives you. <laughs> okay. Yep, she got to sleep. So the app wasn't on and she wasn't connected to the mm. app. So, yeah, she responds to that voice command without being connected to the app. And she also responds, oh, why not for that matter? And she also responds to gesture commands without being connected mm. to Wi-Fi as yeah. well. Yeah. And um, I've got a bit of footage of her responding to gesture commands very well. Oh, do you recognise that straight away? Oh. Thank you, thank you. Straight after. Oh. 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 So he's, oh, she's good. He's going to tell her he loves her straight after. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's so responsive. So, so, what happens if you point up? Let's try it. Yeah, she's looking up. There. Oh, she looks up, yeah. <laughs> but other commands like turn around or spin around, she's got to be connected to Wi-Fi yes. for that. Yes. So again, you can't just just ask her to do that and mm -hmm. she'll do it yeah. without her being yeah. connected to Wi-Fi. The next thing they say is you can even play like you would with a real pet by having Luna chase a ball or try to catch a laser light. Mm. Now, you can't really get Luna to chase a ball. No, we've not been able to yet, so it's a, yeah. a feature that's to come, yeah. presumably. And, and, and the ball that she came with, <clears throat> um, it's in the background there that you made out of card. Yeah. Um, we couldn't even get her to, to sort of play with that at all. No. She, she's more interested in playing with the eye bow balls, but yeah. she sort of plays with them in her own way. She, mm. she won't chase after no, she them won't or roll them. interact with you throwing so, them. So, yes. So it's something so, she doesn't do yet. Mm. Yeah. So I'll just show you folks, uh, if anyone has not seen it, how Luna does play with a ball of her own accord. So here, I was trying to get her to play with the ball that they provided and she just like totally ignored it. But she will play by pushing a ball around if she comes across it herself sometimes. Oh, you like that one better, don't you? All right. Yeah. That's interesting. And as for playing laser chase, what it doesn't mention is that you've got to actually have the app open on that particular game yes and connect her to play it yeah but once you've done that she will play laser chase yes but again when it says oh you can throw a ball for her or you get her to chase a laser it's mm. it is sounding like you can just pick something up and play with her yeah. as you would a real uh, animal but you actually have to put her in a mode yeah. in the app for laser chase so it was a bit misleading, bit misleading. Net, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah and then the next statement they make is she can keep your actual pets company when you're not home well uh, that's got to be untrue really yes 
there's there's um, nothing in Luna's function functionality that would do that. And as we say, she can't even go back to her own charger, so she would soon run out of charge. And even if Luna could interact with your pet, would your pet really be entertained or kept company? I don't think so. What I would, will say is there is potential there because I've got a little clip of something very wondrous that Luna did with the Ibo. <laughs> yeah. Now, if Kiai Tech could get her to bring toys over to real dogs like this, yeah. then she maybe could possibly start to be company for a, a real yeah. actual pet. Yeah. could develop that sort of behaviour with real animals, wouldn't it? It'd be brilliant, yeah. And the final thing that CNET stated was that you can monitor your home or actual pet when you're away and you cannot do that yet. So this is like using a, like a security device. Yeah. Um, so looking through her camera mm -hmm. and using her uh, microphone to to listen but no you can't you can't do that yet so we've got to wait for that to be developed by yeah yeah, yeah. It should be interesting when you, when it's available though yes so folks that completes my sort of response to that cnet <clears throat> video mm, the and... list of lunar features yes yeah So are, are we to assume that we'll get them all in the end? Hope so. Mm. And as we said before, some features are going to be tied to the app, like yes. the laser chase. Yeah. She wants you to play the jackpot again. Oh, I like this game. <laughs> CNET, of course, didn't mention a lot of things. That Luna can can do, like playing games, uh -huh. which is not really like a pet because they, they were saying, oh, this is like a pet substitute. But some of the stuff she does, it's, it's not like a pet at all. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like a very entertaining little robot companion. Yeah, it's like an entertainment uh, robot. And the beatbox thing and the dance thing and that. Yeah, a dancers and the songs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she machines. doesn't want to play that anymore. Let's play fruit machine. <laughs> <laughs> they also didn't mention that um, Kiai has said that we're going to have a programming um, environment eventually yeah. that will be able yeah. to program mm -hmm. Luna. Mm -hmm. I think CE Network really just trying to pitch Luna as a pet bot, mm. uh, which she is partly uh, but not wholly and, yeah uh, she's got all their uh, strengths mm. so folks that about wraps it up thanks for watching as always and hope to see you next time <laughs>